Okay, so here's a quick tip on how to set up a uh, transparent glass shader on an object uh, in EV. So just by default, the glass shader is not actually transparent. And so we need to just do a little bit of stuff to, uh, to make it so you can actually see through it. Now, if you're working in cycles, the glass shader by itself should be transparent uh, already. But uh, uh, with EV, we, we're going to have to do uh, an extra step or two in order to get this set up to be transparent. So I've got this sphere here. Um, I set it up uh, and uh, set it up to shade smooth. And so we're going to add a new material to it. And then I'm going to just expand the bottom here, switch over to our shader editor. And uh, we're going to get rid of this uh, default principled BSDF. Delete that. Go up to Add. We're going to choose Shader. Then you're going to choose Glass. And drop that on there. And let's go ahead and just connect that to the surface so you can see what's going on. So you see we have a little highlight there, that little white dot. Uh, and we can, by adjusting the roughness, you can see the effect of that highlight from our light there. But you can see that it's not actually transparent. So it's all gray, and we should be seeing this blue uh, plane that I've got here through the sphere, but we're not. So I'm going to go ahead and set the roughness back to zero for now. And we're going to add in another shader. And this time we want the transparent shader. So we're going to drop that on here. And then we're going to add, go down to shader, and we're going to use a mix shader. And we're going to just go ahead and hook these two together. So if you drop the shader uh, on top of an existing noodle, it should go ahead and hook things up for you. And so we're going to set this to 0.75. We're going to go over to this panel over here on the side for the materials panel. And we're going to uh, change the blend mode over to alpha blend. And then we're going to change the shadow mode to alpha hashed and then we'll hit the back face culling uh, to go ahead and make it so that there's just the one highlight there. Otherwise, we're getting a double highlight. And then uh, there you go. So that's how you set up a transparent glass shader. And then you can change your roughness to change the size of that highlight. You can change the factor to see how transparent do you want to make it. You can make it sort of smoky and a little bit see-through, or you can make it very, very see-through.